Welcome back to No Sweat Tech. Um, today I'm going to be telling you how to airdrop from one device to another and they must be Apple devices and I'm going to show you how to solve any problems regarding your um, airdrop. So first of all, let's say I want to airdrop something from my iPhone to my MacBook. First thing I do is I go to my phone and I see which photo I want to airdrop. So I see my photos, say I want to airdrop this photo. Okay, so I would press the bottom left, that's the share button. Always the box with the arrow going up is either export or share. And they do very similar things, so I'm going to click that. And then I can see since it's my computer and my iPhone are connected to the same Apple ID, it knows um, what my devices are and I can airdrop between devices. If you have photos connected, you do not have to do this. You can find it in your photos um, on the Mac and the iPhone, but you must be syncing your iCloud photos. And I can do this to um, anybody, but in this case, it's a device. It could be a person too, except it wouldn't show up as Julian's MacBook Pro. It would show up as like, say, like one of your friend's names and their profile picture. And then you would click them. But before you can airdrop it, from the upper right of your phone, scroll down for Control Center. Or if you do not have a um, Face ID phone, that would be scrolling up from the bottom. And you have to make sure that your Wi-Fi is turned on and your Bluetooth is turned on. They do not have to be connected, just turned on. And they on my phone, they are both turned on, which is good. So that means I'm ready on my phone to airdrop. Well, on my computer, what I have to do is I have to go up to Control Center. I have to click. I have to make sure Wi-Fi is on, Bluetooth is on. They do not have to be connected. And since I am on the receiving end on my computer, I have to make sure that AirDrop is on contacts only or everyone. If the person you are AirDropping with is in your contacts, then you can select contacts only. But if they're not, you must select everyone or else it will not work. And if the person is in your contacts but it's not working, select everyone. I have run into a couple of glitches with contacts only. And if you want to prevent airdropping in the future, just click it off and nothing can be airdropped. So if you click it on, now it's on contacts only. And now we're ready to airdrop. So on my phone, I'm going to click Julian's MacBook Pro. You can also find more options by clicking airdrop. And this is the only option here. So I'm going to click Julian's MacBook Pro. I heard a little um, sound and it appears in your downloads automatically. Then you can drag it from your downloads to your desktop and there's the photo in full definition. It is very quick. You do not need to be connected to any Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. It uses a special program and now it's on the computer. That's done. So if say you're airdropping from a computer to an iPhone same exact process, except the receiving end, which is the phone, has to make sure that AirDrop is on. So right now it's receiving off. So my phone can't receive AirDrop, even from contacts. So I have to hold that down to change it, and to either contacts only or everyone. And now I can receive AirDrops from whichever thing you selected. That should be it. Um, if AirDrop still isn't working after you check that Wi-Fi is on, Bluetooth is on, and the receiving person has their AirDrop on, either contacts only or everyone, depending what you need, then you must be in Wi-Fi range of each other. You cannot be too far. And um, make sure personal hotspot is turned off on both devices. So that is it 
for airdrop. If you need any more help, contact me at no sweat tech 101 at gmail.com. Um, thank you for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and goodbye.